What is going on guys? Welcome to a brand new video. Welcome back to the channel. It's Dev. We're here true to true detective season one episode. What is this? I know it's the finale, episode eight. It's the last episode of this story. I'm not gonna watch seasons two and three, just so you guys are aware. We're gonna be switching to dark after this next week, and that's gonna be a lot of fun. Um they got who is it the share i don't remember who it was some dude forgot his name that they have him on the boat that old lady the carcosa stuff you know the, the, my family's been here a long time shit's getting interesting it's, uh, it's been interesting i shouldn't say getting it's been interesting i'm excited to see how it all concludes in this last episode let's get into it in 3 Two. One. Somebody ought to give you a good hosing. Huh. Heat ain't helping. Yeah, reckon you'll keep another day. Be good. I'll bring you some more water around noon. Bye, Daddy. I get well kind of unreasonable about things like that. We're such expert players, and you make this very room a theater. You have a good walk? Yes, my dear. Top notch walk this morning. Top notch constitutional. It's been weeks since I left my mark. Would that they had eyes to see. Don't you do Miss Billionaire them 30 feet? <laughs> Sorry, old chap. Couldn't you tell me about Grandpa? Oh. I was in the cane fields. And he caught me when I was alone. And the dirt was warm. I felt the dirt warm on my back. Oh. Ask you again to take it out of the bag and put it in the machine. Showing me this. The little girl's the one you said went to see your daddy, Marie. I, 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 I tried to get back with the mother. I tried to get back with her. She was gone. She split. The file was gone. Nobody said a word. Later that year, I was in state CID on Ted's recommendation. Nobody ever gave me a reason to second guess it. His chain of command. Right? What do you think? I don't think he's lying. As far as he knows. As far as I know? What the fuck is with you, man? Me a whole lot safer. Made something, Marty. Sent the Maserati over the guardrail. Be careful out there. I can get you a cafeteria lunch if you're hungry. That's all right, miss. I gotta get on with my work. Lots to do today. We're gonna hang on to you. Your phone and your... That's so creepy. ...mailing to you once we know we are. That work for you, Steve. You can bet your ass it doesn't. 
And it's Sheriff Jerez City, you shit heel. Now, look, Steve, you're going to want to swing some dick on this thing. I'm going to give you a It's going to come back on you, you assholes, one way or another. You just think about that little girl, Steve. For quite some time, I'm going to be thinking about you, Rust. Hey, one other thing, Steve. Got an old sniper pal, all right? Contract's already been paid. Me or Marty, we see cuffs or coffins, you're gonna end up in the dirt. We're gonna scare your name. I got something coming for you, baby. Your psycho bitch don't cut me, boy! You hear me? Shock you is more of a Hell yeah, dude. That's my fucking car! God damn it! Lahine, fat ass. Lahim, fat ass. Why green ears? I mean, assuming that's our guy. I don't know exactly. My thinking was it was probably leaves of some kind. You know, because we do know that he came at her through the woods. Come over here. Now, you think, back then, does that... Does that look like a fresh? Creeped out to you? Maybe he painted that house. I'm going to look up old addressees. You know, when she told me, she said, not to blame you, that wasn't your choice. You uh, were drunk, and she made it happen. Everybody's got a choice, Marty. She said, I sure blamed you. <laughs> blame me for what? For pushing a good woman to the point where she had to use me, use our partnership to get rid of you. Just lying sack of shit. You know, she couldn't have used you. You didn't want some. There you go. Everybody's got a choice. That, I no. never told you how to live your life, Marty. No, no, no. You just sat in judgment. Look, a sentient meat, however illusory our identity, we craft those identities by making value judgments. Everybody judges all the time. Now, you got a problem with that, you're living wrong. What's scented meat? Sentient meat. God damn it. <laughs> scented meat. <laughs> William Lee Childress, born to Lisbeth Childress, 1944, Erath. No son showing. Address DMV, old license. Highway 27 South. State CID, one of the state attorney. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? 24 hours passes and I don't stop you. Mail them all out. Then lay low a while. So how's that case going? Uh, Lake Charles. We get something, do you want the call or you want it to go to someone else? Give it to me. Make sure you come run it. Oh, fuck, man. Marty. This is the place. He can sense it. He's got the vibes, man. He knows. I mean, we know, but he knows. Who do you live here with? I think you should go now. 
Uh, where is she? All around us. Before you were born, and after you died. No! No! Get out of my house, mister! <laughs> Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Don't move. On your knees now. On your knees now. No. <laughs> no. Just start sprinting. Oh, what is Marty about to find? He's gonna die from tetanus or asbestos or something. What the fuck? Ah, oh, such a Frodo and Sam moment. The Eagles are coming. Physical evidence at the suspect's home proved connections to dozens of missing persons. In the meantime, the state attorney general and the FBI have discredited rumors that the accused was in some way related to the family of Louisiana Senator Edwin Tuttle. Of course they denied that. Oh my God. like I was, I was a part of everything that I ever loved and we were all the three of us just just fade now <laughs> nothing but that love oh Matthew McConaughey is killing it here god light versus dark Well, I know we ain't in Alaska, but it's dark in a lot more territory. Yeah. What a metaphor. What a fucking metaphor, man. Oh. How's that? Well, once there is only dark. Yeah, any lights winning. What a fun a, a finale. Everything coming together, you know, all of the 
all of the shit, and it was wild to look at. You know what I mean? The performances. Let's just get on the technical level before getting into the story and all the other shit. Matt McConaughey, Woody Harrelson. Matt McConaughey was knocked out of the park. I like McConaughey a lot. I think he's a great actor. He seems like a cool dude. Seems like a cool dude. But, <clears throat> he killed it. And Woody Harrelson kept up. He did. And Woody Harrelson's a great actor. But, you can maybe think he would get overshadowed a bit. But, he did not. And it was perfect. It was perfect. It, it truly fucking was. Um, And then, the whole supporting cast. The fucking the cinematography. The, oh, perfect. The, the The shots were so just creepy and... Just like, oh my god, what the fuck, what the fuck, what the fuck. The build up through the maze was amazing. Errol, so creepy, so psychotic, so demented. A dead relative, or maybe not even dead. I don't know if he was dead, but that was wild. Mouth sewn shut and everything, finger banging. Incest, like, hold dude, that's the South for you, but these fucking cults, though, like, this, this is a big-ass cult that runs deep, I would ass not assume we know it runs deep, there were, like, that shot at the, near the end of the epilogue with just all the spots covered, all the crimes, crime scenes, like, it's bigger, and they didn't get everybody, but I love the optimism, you know, even though darkness takes up every, everything, light, Lights ask me lights winning or whatever it was. Fire. Fire. He was able to see through the light, through the power of love. Through the power of love, which is amazing. You know what I mean? Because anecdotal, but within a lot of people's DMT trips, life in general, like love is the one thing that brings people together and everybody's at one with their self and everybody once they find that true love whatever it may be like they're happy they're 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 they they found it they feel that warmth presence in all of the darkness that light is coming through and they finally get it it's like the danny devito gif the i get it meme um which i'm excited to see the context behind that in whenever i get to that which is probably going to be a long time because i'm still only on season six but Whatever. Um, God. I love the realism factor of this. I love them. It's so much easier to cover ground when they have the internet compared to back in the 90s with no internet. <laughs> you know what I mean? Where they just had to use maps and case files. And they're still using case files, but specifically for locations, the internet was so easy. It was so quick the green ears thing because it was like right in front of them the whole time the skit like it was like in front of their faces the whole time the painted house rust seeing errol working back in 96 or 95 or whatever and he was like fuck god damn it he started tripping balls right before he was about to die like that was coordinated fairly not well rust could have waited at least a little bit for Marty to catch up, but hey, writing what needs to happen. Um, but he had a tree tripping balls for a second, and boom, almost dies. Practically dies. Shot that man's head off, though. And they got one little victory. It's a victory. Even if there's more, you can't catch them all. And that's reality. That's just based on, you won't be able to ever catch them all because there is truly evil people. I like the line about, it's the, the old original story, light versus dark. And then everything that's come after nighttime, daytime, light, dark, evil people, good people. You know what I mean? And this whole family, this cult, one of the evils of them all. And they got, they're backed by state media and, and governments and the state PD. You know, on the news broadcast, they said er, they denied that Errol was a part of the family and the, that the Tuttle family has any connections at all. They denied that. And that's what would happen in real life as well. 
You know, we see it now, especially with like the Epstein flight logs. Like those are prominent people in in positions of power, the top one percent blackmail as well. That's also one thing. Um and the media's in on it, so they have to hide it. Obviously, people know and it's out there, but nobody knows who. And we kinda we would like the if you saw the names, if they ever did release it, now they have flight logs and shit like that. Which I've seen some of those, and obviously there are a bunch of you know CEO, you know big top dogs, rich, you know, and the it kind of connects to something like this, you know, people turning a blind eye, just doing my job. I don't ask questions, even if they truly don't know. Like they're still a part of it. They're a pawn, like a lot of people, and uh, yeah. The conspiracy, I wouldn't say that's a conspiracy, like the Epstein shit and, you know, the blackmail and you know, prominent figures doing this demented shit. But there's other stuff I've seen where it turns into, you know, adrenochrome, which I hate the adrenal. Like, I love, like, in all of these shows about whatever, this kind of topic, even Sound of Freedom, it never mentions adrenochrome. Because every, not everybody, but it's probably known that you can go search online for Adrenochrome and buy it. Go online and buy it. So, I don't know why they're going through all that just to do some dramatic ass shit. If it's true, <laughs> because you can buy it online. Or just have, especially if you're a rich person, just have a scientist make it for you. Like, you don't need to be doing all that. Um, so that's why I see through some of the bullshit. Now, like I've said, there's hints of truth in a lot of these conspiracies. Um, and yeah, the world is a sick and demented place. There's light and dark. And there's a lot more dark than light, but if you can still see the light, it's a, it's a slight victory. You know what I mean? But what a show. What a first season. I'm not going to watch seasons two or three just because I don't know. Don't really care. <laughs> I've heard they're they're trash, and I came here for Woody Harrelson and uh, Matthew McConaughey. The goat, the goat was good shit. I enjoyed it. The show was this first season was one of the best seasons of television. It ended off in a holy shit. You know, we didn't win, but we got a win. We got one victory, and there it is. On to Dark. That's the next series we're going to be watching, ladies and gentlemen. I'm excited to get into it. I've heard good things. We're going to watch the sub, do subtitles. Um, especially with live action shows, because I can't do dub on live action. It's just too goofy. It's too goofy. But, uh, yeah, man, I'm getting hot. I'm getting tired. Hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. If you did, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell for daily videos every single day. Follow me on Twitter, Twitch, TikTok, and Instagram, and all social media down in the description below. And we'll catch you for another video.